check out the best brand new blitz concept in Madden 20. We could create that 3-4 odd show blitz look out of any single formation in the game. Nobody knows about this yet and we're breaking it down for you right now. So you're going to see I'm going to first come out in 3-4 odd and I'm going to show blitz. That's base line show blitz. You see the linebackers coming into the gaps. You've probably already seen that before. There's nothing new with that. But what if you could create this look out of any single formation in the game? We figured it out. You see we're first coming out in 3-4 even and we're able to bring those linebackers into the gaps. Next going to a nickel 3-3-5 normal. Very popular formation. Imagine you had a scheme where the linebackers were right in the gaps. We could do that, as you see. Finally, we'll do this out of nickel 245, and you see the linebackers going in the gaps. We could do it out of anything. We're calling this concept the Madden Daily Sugar Scheme, and we actually covered it in our brand new Jets defensive book. I am going to share this video with you on YouTube right now, but I just wanted to let you guys know this is the first video of the ebook that we just covered. Um, as you see, the site has a completely brand new design, write-ups with screenshots, um, just everything is a lot more clean. But let's show you exactly how we're using this concept right now. Hope you guys enjoy. What's going on, guys? It's Lights. We are going to start this defensive ebook with a bang. I'm going to teach you the best new Madden 20 defensive concept, bar none, in Madden. Now, this is something that you couldn't do last year. You could do it now, and it is fabulous as far as blitzing. All right, so what we quickly realized is that the way that you need to blitz in this game is to have guys in the gaps. So I could take 3-4 odd, for example, and we are going to cover 3-4 odd in this ebook, but there's going to be a lot of different defenses that we use similar to 3-4 odd. And what I mean by that is let's just come out in 3-4 odd. If you don't know, let's just take pin pinch dog 2 press, for example. We're going to base a line and show blitz. With this formation, if you base a line and show blitz, the middle linebackers come into the gap, okay? Now this, again, is the best way to get heat in this game is by having guys in the gaps, um, and that way when you do blitz them, they get engaged right away, and that's gonna leave free rushers in regardless if you contain or not, okay? Again, we're gonna be breaking down three for odd, but I wanna show you that we could actually get this sugar look with every single formation in Madden. Again, this is a brand new concept to Madden 20. Let's come out in a formation. Let's go 3-4 even. Put some fast guys out there. All right. The play that I'm going to use for 3-4 even is will fire three seam. So what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to get both of these inside linebackers into the gaps. And that will dramatically help the blitz scheme. The concept is you want to blitz the linebacker that you want to bring down into the gap. Even if he's already blitzing, you would need to re-blitz him in order for him to come down. So what I typically do is I just globally blitz all linebackers by pressing uh, right on the D-pad and then down on the right stick. That's going to blitz all linebackers. What you have to do now is do any type of defensive adjustment to get them to come down. Okay, so after you globally blitz your linebackers, that's the first thing you need to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play press coverage. So I'm going to press wire triangle and then down on the D-pad. And look at that. They both shot down. Now, they don't always go down on the first try. Um, sometimes you have to keep just pressing. And it doesn't have to be press. It could be like show blitz. It could be baseline. It could even be like spread your line. You pretty much just need to make any type of defensive adjustment after you globally blitz your linebackers. And that will bring them in the gaps. Okay, so I'm not going to send seven. Let's send six. So let's control this guy here. Um, I'll contain and then this could be just a simple setup right here where I'm gonna get both contains coming in free I'm right here behind the defensive tackle and I'm gonna go either down into the left or down into the right and then shoot up the field so that the line looks at me and as you have seen, I got both contains coming in free so let's run that back sometimes with this play the right guy already shoots down um, but that's just uh, specific to this exact play that had nothing to do with what I did I didn't do anything for him to come down but if I want the other linebacker to come down or both to come down again you globally blitz your linebackers and then play press coverage right there you see him come down what if I want to send seven right what if I think they're gonna max protect send seven I could mug the gap kind of like five two from last year if you guys were with us last year you want to get aggressive send seven I'm gonna do the same thing get behind this defensive tackle here to the right 
Go down and shoot up. Obviously, the coverage isn't good. But if you're expecting a max protect and you want them to... You don't want them to hit deep routes. You could do something like this. Boom. Max protect. Blitz came in. Yes, we are starting this defensive ebook like this. <laughs> Heat to come in versus max pro. I know I am sending seven in this case. But I'm just showing you how easy it is. And you could do this with any formation. What I'll typically do though, like I said, is when I globally blitz the linebackers and press right there, see they're not coming down right away. You just gotta keep pressing to get that guy to come down. Eventually he will. Um, and then let's just take this guy. Here I'm not gonna contain, but I'll run a six man pressure. You see the, the guys coming in. If they block one, one guy is still gonna come in. Um, they pretty much have to max protect against our six man rush like this. And if they are max protecting, then we could go ahead and send seven. We could control the safety and mug the gap. And I'm not even mugging the gap. So, like, you see what I'm doing here. This is my favorite type of way to get blitzes to come in is user behind a DT and then shoot down and then go up. So, you're almost making, like, a, a V, like, diagonally and then up. And then you could have did it the other way, too. But for this defense, I like to go inside with my user and then shoot up. And you see both contains coming in. And now the fact that quarterbacks have longer throwing uh, motions and the pass trajectories are different, different. these free rushers are a lot more powerful than in years past because you can't just run away from the blitz and just chuck it up. If you, if you like roll out and try to throw it across your body or to the other side of the field, you're not going to have enough time. It's going to cock back. You're going to get sacked. So yeah, he had the flat pass, but let's say we made an adjustment to that. We took away that first read. They're sacked. So being able to get free rushers in Madden 20 is huge. This is the easiest way and the best way, and nobody knows about this right now. It is new to Madden 20, and we are the first to figure it out. Blitz all linebackers, and then play press coverage. Or let's say I want a baseline instead of press. Like you see right there, they shot down. Again, it's you just need to make, you have to do something after you globally blitz to bring them down, okay? So right here, we'll block the running back. Let's say I want to convert, like for guys that are advanced, now you could start converting the coverage. I just made this into a cover three cloud real quick from this play. They block the running back. See right there, left side still came in free. So we're forcing them to max pro. And again, all it takes, if I see them constantly max protecting or if it's like fourth and long, is for me to globally blitz, keep both guys in the gap blitzing, and then take this safety. Let's say I want to make this into a cover three shell. They max pro. I'm going to go down into the inside. Shoot up the field. See my linebacker flying in. They have no time to make a play. Now, I do want to let you know that dependent on the play that you come out in, the linebackers will go into different gaps. The reason why I like 3-4 even will fire 3 seam is because that left of screen inside linebacker goes in between the left of screen outside linebacker and the left of screen defensive end. But say I picked a different play like Tampa 2. And let's say I blitzed all linebackers and then pressed. Right there, it actually went in the same gap. But sometimes this left linebacker will go in the A gap. Um, but as you can see, you know, you could do this type of concept with any single play, any single formation. So just to show you, let's just go to anything. Let's go to 335 wide. Right? Let's say three Sam Will blitz. I want to get this linebacker to go into the gap. I just gotta globally blitz the linebacker, or just I could even click onto him and blitz him. And then play press coverage. And right there on the first time I tried pressing press coverage, it didn't work. Just press it again. Right there, he went down. And now I can set up a nice six-man rush, you know, mugging the gap or going in. And I'm creating the sugar concept out of any formation. One last time, let's go nickel normal. Globally blitz the linebackers. Press coverage. The right, the right inside linebacker didn't come down yet, so I'm just going to keep pressing coverage until he does. And you got your sugar concept out of any set. We're calling this the MD sugar scheme. So if anyone asks you, how are you getting your linebackers to come down in the gap like 3-4 odd? Just tell them you're doing the MD sugar. This is legit. It's fire. You're going to see a little bit more of this in our defensive ebook. But you could actually take this now into any single formation and lab on your own. If you're someone that likes to come up with your own type of concept, we like to put stuff in our ebooks that help you do that so you don't have to just run what we run you could actually now go to nickel 335 normal or nickel 335 odd or dollar anything and this concept is going to work 
let's move on to the next video. So I wanted to share this concept to you guys. I haven't posted a YouTube video in a long time, so I figured why not at least give you one of our best concepts that we found so far. And that's literally just the first video in this ebook. If you want to check out the rest of the book, it is on MaddenDaily.com. It is $20, but if you are a Madden Daily member, it's $10. We have a 50% coupon. And we covered literally everything that you need on the defensive side of the ball. Eight formations, 28 videos, the best blitzes, the best run defenses. We're literally shooting stretches, dives, inside zones in the backfield. We have blitzes that are coming in against Max Protect and not just sending seven. We're sending six and even sometimes sending five to get the blitz to come in versus seven blockers. We came up with some really cool, unique zone coverage concepts. Uh, zone is not great in Madden 20, but the way that we're running it, you actually could lock up in zone. And then for those that like to play match coverage, we did a full breakdown on cover four palms. We show you the adjustments needed to stop trips, bunch, and spread from cover four palms, and also a blitz scheme out of it. So literally everything we could cover in a day one defensive ebook, we covered. I'm really, really proud of this. If you guys want to check it out, link to it is in the description below. And if not, don't worry about it. Tomorrow we're going to be back with another Madden 20 tip. Oh, and also, if you've ever purchased anything from Madden Daily before in the past, this is a brand new site, a brand new membership. So the positives is the quality is so much better. The negative is that you do have to recreate a username and password. So if you are going to go ahead and buy the defensive ebook or our membership, when you purchase it, it's going to ask you to type in your name, your email, and your password. And that's going to be your new username for Madden Daily. If anyone has any questions or anything at all, please let me know either in the comments below or you could email us at maddendaily at gmail.com. Hope you guys have a great night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.